What's up guys, Yes McGann here, and today we are playing Chalk in the solo lane because Chalk is a god that, you know, I haven't made a video for in a while. I actually only played him one game before this because I actually recorded a game before this and unfortunately the audio was gone whenever I, uh, whenever I checked it on Sony Vegas. Actually, it was just the in-game audio, my voice was still there, but yeah, it was just kind of weird to hear my voice and... And no game audio, obviously, so didn't unfortunately use that one, even though it was a pretty good game. It was a loss, but we had a pretty good game. We we're against a Robin as well, who is popular for to uh, popular in the solo lane right now. So it was an interesting game, but we are going to be against a, a Matarasu this time, which Chalk versus a Matarasu is kind of odd. It's a matchup where Chalk does, of course, have the early game advantage. Matarasu tends to lose a lot of those early game fights and uh, clear battles, but as the game progresses, Amaterasu becomes a lot more useful and powerful than Chalk, so honestly, this matchup probably is in Amaterasu's favor just from that. Of course, it does take a while and to, uh, to of course, really get the, get the wheels turning on that god, or that goddess against Chalk, but once she does, it's really tough to actually, to actually uh, bring her down with the Chalk, so we're gonna try and get ahead early. We do have a team composition that can get ahead early. I mean, Ares, Wheelish, and Chalk. That can make some some real magic early on in the game. So, we'll see. Um, Wheelish is starting over here as well. And <laughs> you can tell Amaterasu just found that out. In fact, ooh, she took a lot of damage. We're going to be able to clear that out. I guess we could go for the mana buff as well. We are going to hit level 2 just from killing the, the minis. Actually, oh no, since we're splitting, that's not true. But we are going to hit level 2 from killing the mana buff. Which is nice. There we go. Clear that out. Oh, she wants to go for the speed as well. I mean, we might as well since we're going to lose our own speed. Okay, I don't want Amaterasu to clear too much right here. Your middle tower is under but I also don't want my jungler to lose too many minions, so that's why I didn't instantly clear the wave once I got there. Alright, we can clear this bad boy out. There we go. Get the big fire elemental and go back to the lane. We'll be level 3 here. Doing a good amount of damage to Amaterasu. She started with the blue stone, which... Maybe should have started the Mark of the Vanguard this game. Or Death Toll, because I am going to be able to provide a lot of pressure against her. But we'll see. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the blue stone's going to turn out good for her. I'm trying to zone her off right here, and it looks like their hunter died to a tower right there. I don't know how, what happened there. Unfortunately, our team didn't pick it up. Didn't get the kill. Okay, I'm just going to go for our own mana buff here. Hit level 5. Unless they took it. I don't think they did, though. The jungler in the mid laner. Yeah, they didn't. I didn't see the rotation, so I just assumed it was still free for me to take. There we go, get the mana buff. Uh, I didn't hit a Matarasu with that, unfortunately. Should still be fine, though, even with the double tap. And oh, Matarasu is still only level 4. Ooh, she got the knockup. Oh, there's the kill. Nice job. Good job from Awilish. Amaterasu is still only level 4 because, well, Awilish started over here and I'm playing Chalk, so we had the advantage the entire time. And we can go for the Fire Elementals here. I think we should, yeah. Awilish sees the opportunity. Definitely makes the most sense here. And I'm going to go back to base. Oops. I messed that up. Alright, we'll go back to base. Get our warrior Tabi. Teleport in. I'm actually going to sell this. And we're going to go for the Mark of the Vanguard Mystical Mail build. Just because I think it could be decent here. Mark the Vanguard's going to be decent into Amaterasu, and as far as ability-based warriors go, I think Chalk's probably one of the better ones to go that build. 
Oh, that wasn't that wasn't the best clear from me. Still gonna be able to bully out that Amaterasu pretty hard though. Yep, still only tier two boots. Okay, they're saying enemies incoming left. I'm trying to watch myself here, and ooh, they got the middle the middle laner right there. Got the Isis. It's really smart that they're letting Isis fall behind like this. Or making her fall behind. Ooh, Chalk, or not Chalk, I'm Chalk. Thor is right there. I could have went for the mana buff. It's unfortunate. Still might go for it, though. Ooh, we did a lot of damage right there. Ooh, man, Amaterasu's taking the beating. Uh, if it wasn't for Thor being right here. I'm trying to zone away from the mana buff. Okay, he's going for it now. Okay, we got that one. Oh, don't think we can get a Matarazu here, though. But we are going to be able to pick up the Thor. Oh, here's the Isis. She is going to miss us, though. And the mid laner showing up is always, always a good time to go for the Gold Fury here, as my team's going to do. She's just watching me here. Okay, now she's just going back to base. And that's the Gold Fury. Nice play for my team. And we're going to be able to pick up the mana buff. Oh, got Athena showing up, though. Shouldn't be able to get us here. Matarasu's not going to be able to get here in time, so... Yep, we're going to be safe to get away on this one. Not bad. All right, so I'm going to go for the Mark of the Vanguard now. Man, what a play for my team. Just everywhere on the map, making the plays. They saw my teammate, or my en the enemies going for... A gank over here on me, and they just went straight for the Gold Fury, which is going to help us a lot since we did fall behind in the right lane a little bit. But coming back a little bit, as um, Medusa is going to be able to get a kill after dying two times earlier. So, yeah. Definitely coming back. I am going to have to run through here, though, to make sure she's not at my mana buff. Okay, she's not. Might lose some minions. Yeah, we lost all of them, actually. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Amaterasu is missing, though. I guess she probably went to the Fire Elementals. I'm going to check them really quick. Yeah, she did. Okay. Oh, there's Thor and Athena. But I'll just go for my own mana buff. We'll let them come over here and get the XP. I guess we're going to triple... Actually, no. Nice. Nice play from Upwash. I'm actually happy he peeled away from that because we were about to triple split that, which wouldn't have been as effective. Uh, we're not going to be able to stay in front of her for long enough. If I would have done or went for one less basic attack, I would have been able to completely cover her dash. So, a bit of a misplay from me, but not going to be the worst thing in the world. I'm going to put another level into my two here just because I can get. I think I can get away with a bit more damage and a bit less sustain. We'll just see here. I might just stick with only two levels into the third ability. And I may try and zone here. There's nothing for me to get at the moment. I guess the speed buff, but it's kind of unsafe. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we were able to cancel out the dash and get the solo kill on Amaterasu. Did not like being zoned. Did not like being zoned. And yeah, speed buff's down. That's what I was expecting. And we'll go for the clear and then probably just try and get some damage off on this tower. Oh, oh, there it is. Thor went for the speed buff and then came over here. Make sure my team is aware. They do have a bit more freedom than they may have initially anticipated. Oh. Alright. Athena coming in here as well. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what that Athena te teleport was. I don't know what that ultimate was she was trying to get from that. But yeah, Thor's abilities were down, so... We'll at least be able to beat him in that aspect. Getting an ultimate down. We did lose the Alpwash in the mid lane, unfortunately, though. Oh. That's the ultimate. I'll actually poke her a bit more. I'm fine with that. Amaterasu, no ultimate. Feels good. 
Make sure my team knows that the ultimate is down from the Amaterasu. Alright. She does have a lot better sustain than she did at the beginning of this game, unfortunately. Ooh. Man. The poke is real. My ward did die. Hmm. I want to really want to go. For, I really want to go for her mana buff, but okay. Looks like Thor's over there right now. All right. If these fire elementals are down, which they most likely are. Oh, actually. We stole him away. Not too bad. Gonna be able to uh, steal the fire elemental away from that guy. And I guess I'll just throw this in there. Go for our own mana buff. I think I'm gonna miss about two minions here. The ones I didn't hit. That's alright though. Matarasu still really having a tough time against us. The longer you can keep a Matarasu down, the better. Because once we get to team fights and she's a higher level and has more items, it's gonna be really tough. Oh, there's her ultimate again. Uh, maybe I didn't need. Maybe I shouldn't have ulted right there. Ooh, if I hit my one right there, I actually could have killed her, but I missed because I'm good at this game. <laughs> Not only good, just simply the best. It's unfortunate she had got the, her last mana buff. Alright, she's backing off still. All right, we're able to dodge her damage there and and push her her wave into the into the tower. Okay, I'm just gonna back in front of her here. Be as BM as possible, and go meditation. Let's actually get let's get tier two here. I'm gonna see if I can do anything with my ultimate. Ooh, Ares! Okay, well, he got some beads. There it is. Nice play. There's Thor. Let's see, a Wheelish does have the ultimate still available as well. So if she's able to knock someone up, that could be a kill. Ooh, man. If she wouldn't have gotten the silence right there, I was, I was thinking I might go in. Okay, we got it. I was thinking I might go for the ultimate, but we'll see. We're going to try and bait them. I have to move all the way over here because I have mystical, mystical mail. Ooh, she went for the stun. Ares. Ah, oh, just missing the Isis. Going straight on me right here. Hmm. Oh, we lost a wheelish in the middle lane. Ice hold. Curses. I agree, curses. Oh, okay. There it is. We're able to get the Neath. Ooh, nice. Nice chain. Uh-oh. I have a Thor ultimate coming in. Oh, and that Medusa ultimate! Oh my god, the team! 
With the hottest plays, that's the tower. I'm just holding them back. Okay, we should have this one. I don't see them able to get in here and attack us. Oh, the damage buff just came up, though. Alright, I'm gonna go back to base. Norse-tacular! We're going for the Sheila Regrowth. A bit different than it was earlier this season and last time I played Chalk, but still going to be really, really good. Giving us a little bit of extra HP, 10% cooldown reduction is good for Chalk by itself. I mean, he doesn't need that much cooldown reduction, so... Well, we should be able to do fine here. It looks like a wheelish could be in some trouble, though. Okay, now she's fine. Really good plays for our team. I'm going to ward the Portal Demon, though, just in case, because they have a team composition that can actually take that with only a few members and then get to a team fight on the other side of the map really quickly with a Thor and Athena. So we do definitely want to be careful with that. Alright, we'll clear out that wave. I probably should have put it, been putting levels into my ultimate, but... Well, honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not an ultimate that's necessary to level up, but it does get a lot of damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, the silence! That should be a death door. There it is. There it is! The Ares is gonna be gone as well! We honestly should just attack this. I'm gonna med our teammates here. Oh man, that should be a kill. There it is, nice. It's gonna be the tower going down as well. And we are so tanky at this point in the game. Just with the mystical mail. Gank right lane, we should probably attack this. I, yeah, Ares is just gonna gank right. We're gonna go for the portal demon, and it should be should be free for us here. There we go. Nice and easy portal demon. Okay, since we just did that, I'm just gonna go to the left side and go back to base after clearing the wave. Pick up our items and then go through the portal demon. Portal to Get back to the lane. Let's see. I could go some damage this game as well. That wouldn't be too bad. That'd be pretty fun as well. Michael for a late transcendence. I don't know though. I lied. They are going to surrender. Farewell. Making the plays with the chalk. Like I said, you want you have to get ahead of Amaterasu early with chalk. Uh, if, if she ever gets ahead, you're not going to be able to bypass her again because Chalk, he does he does decent damage mid-game. Uh, actually, not decent. I would say he does quite a bit of damage mid-game. So, you want to make sure that you're ahead for that point because if you fall behind a Matarasu and it gets to mid-game and you're not able to provide as much for the team, you're just going to get out-damaged, out-supported definitely by a Matarasu who's extremely strong late-game with her ultimate, with her auras, as well as she does become very tanky. And very fast, so you always want to be careful with that, but look how much damage we did. 12,000 damage, the Matarasu only did 4,700. Like I said, I think Mark the Vanguard or Death Toll would have been better for her in our matchup, but still, I don't know if that would have made a big enough difference for her not to fall behind as much as she's dead. Probably so, though. Mark the Vanguard, I think, would have. Maybe. We'll s we could have seen. I don't know. A Matarasu right now, I don't think is the best, really, warrior to be picking up in the soul lane. Honestly, I think she's towards the lower end of warriors in the soul lane. I think she's good in the soul in the support role and I think overall she's a good god. It's just that in the soul lane you just lose so much pressure early game. And if you fall behind, it can become really really rough for you. The only the th saving grace for Amaterasu in the soul lane though is like I said, her late game is really good. Her mid game can be really impactful as well just with her auras and her ultimate. She's able to support the team, but if the soul laner gets this far ahead like me, it's just not it's just not going to be enough to take down the the massive beast from that lane. So 
unfortunate for them, but we did have a great game. Our team had decent games as well. Wheelish had a good game, especially when she came for the early gank on Amaterasu. That helped out a lot, especially since I just got ganked by Thor. And Amaterasu was still only level 4 because of that early start, which I really have to credit Wheelish for because she knew they were not going to be able to get the early clear against the Isis Thor, and so she just came to the soul lane, and we were able to make a huge impact on the game and really get rolling. As well as Alpwash, playing Alpwash, kind of a tough god to play, especially into a team composition with a Thor, but didn't seem to do too bad. He didn't seem to do too badly overall. He did an okay amount of damage. I mean, <laughs> you had Chalk and Ares doing a lot of this much damage, so it probably doesn't look like too much, but he didn't feed, and he was able to provide a lot of control, so not bad. Medusa had a tough time early game against this Neath who got off rolling, but she was able to turn around after getting a double kill in that lane. And then she was able just to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Neath, who uh, doesn't scale as well as a lot of other hunters. So we definitely would have had the advantage there, but then again, uh, overall their team composition, I think late game probably would be a bit better. I mean, we had Ares, but Ares not really the strongest late game or support, and he hasn't been buffed yet. His buff is not until next patch. But he still did, did pretty well this game. 3-1-11, 9,700 damage. He's doing what you need to do on Ares. Get ahead early, do as much damage as possible, and just become a menace from the support role. But anyway, guys... Oh, wait, actually, before I go, let's go over the build. I went for the Mark of the Vanguard of Mystical Mail build, which... As far as ability-based warriors go, like I said, I think he's probably the best one for it. Maybe Hercules. Both can be, make great use out of it, although I think cooldown reduction is a bit more important on Hercules. But yeah, Mystical Mail, really, really strong item if you do get that Mark of the Vanguard. If you go go for the Mark of the Vanguard without the... Or go for the Mystical Mail without Mark of the Vanguard, it does sting a little bit because you do take a lot more damage. Mark of the Vanguard, really strong item. Not only good against gods with blue stone or dots or anything, but also great against the archer minions especially. So help Helps out a lot, but then we go for the Mystical Mail, and then Shield of Regrowth, which got changed, which honestly, I think is really good on Chalk after the change, even though before it was really good because the cooldown reduction was insane. I mean, 20%, you could get full CDR, which is Breastplate and Shield of Regrowth, but now with the 10%, but extra HP, still good on Chalk, but you get it a bit later on in the build, as you can see here, but still really good, makes you quicker, of course, so. Strong, strong item there, and then this game, I think I would have went for probably Hide of the Urchin, Maybe Titan's Bane just to get a bit more damage earlier on in the game and then sell Mark of the Vanguard for Spirit Robe or most likely Mantle of Discord. So anyway, guys, this has been the SME Can playing Shock in the Soul Lane. I hope you enjoyed. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.